Hi, I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stahl's CAD Cut Direct, and this is a production tip jar all about bleeding sublimated fabrics versus dye migrating polyester fabrics, both of which pose potential issues in your business. I'm going to show you a solution called CAD Cut Thermofilm that will do a nice job with dye migration. It's a low bleed solution, but it will not, not block dye sublimation. So in order to get started with this, you need to understand the difference between a fully sublimated fabric versus a dyed polyester. Here, I have a fully sublimated motocross jersey. A quick and easy way to know if a product is fully sublimated is to just look at the inside of the garment. Typically, if the inside of the garment is white, you know that the outside has been fully sublimated through one of a variety of production processes, typically that it's fully sublimated, then the fabric's cut and sewn together. But if it's white, uh, you don't want to use pretty much any heat transfer film um, on this product um, unless it's a dye blocking solution. Now thermofilm isn't a dye blocking solution, it's a low bleed solution. And it's really intended for the, a variety of sports fabrics that have migration issues. In this case, we have a red polyester basketball jersey. Polyester is the only fabric out there that actually can migrate. And so if your garment has polyester content, you need to worry about dye migration. And you can see when I turn this inside out, the inside is red. So I can tell that this was dyed in the manufacturing process of the garment, not necessarily sublimated. So let's show you an example of what dye migration is. Here we've used a basic white heat transfer film onto the basketball jersey that, you've just, uh, that we've just reviewed. You can see that over time, over the course of about a week, the dyes from the jersey, which are clearly unstable, have started to migrate through the film, turning the lettering pink. This would clearly be unacceptable for any sports team wearing this jersey for their white numbers to turn pink. For this reason, you need to be aware of fabrics that may migrate and pick a solution that's going to do a good job stopping that migration. In this case, we'll show you the same basketball jersey decorated at the same time with thermofilm. You can notice how the white is still a very bright white, especially when contrasted against the pink effect we have with another heat transfer film. So while thermofilm does have a little more thickness to the product, uh, it still feels very nice on the jersey and is a low bleed solution that will stop these dyes from migrating. For this reason, a lot of people pick thermofilm as their only choice for polyester athletic fabrics because you never have to worry about whether the garment's going to migrate or not because unstable dyes can vary from manufacturing lot to manufacturing lot, jersey to jersey. Sometimes it shows up on one jersey and not the next, and you don't really find out until the product goes out your door. And so people are using thermofilm as a safe choice for decorating these fabrics. Thermofilm also works on athletic meshes, and dye migration doesn't just have to be on a red garment, it can happen on a black garment, a blue garment, any color where the dyes in the garment are a darker shade than the lettering or the numbering that you're putting on the jersey. So thermofilm's a great choice. Let's show you how to apply thermofilm to this red jersey that migrates. Thermofilm is very fast and easy to heat apply. I'll start by preheating the garment for a few seconds to remove the moisture and wrinkles. Then I'll position my design. Has a sticky backing to hold it into place. Uh, if you don't want to cut the full design with the name and number, you can actually purchase the pre-cut numbers from us. So you can just cut your name and lay out with the numbers. Cover the whole thing with a cover sheet and it takes just six to eight seconds for adhesion. Once it's complete, I'll peel the backing while hot. And I have a completed design that's bright white. Now what I do want to do is press the other design I've cut to the fully sublimated fabric to show you how thermofilm won't block sublimation, but it will do a good job as a low bleed solution for these unstable dyes. So the sublimated fabric here. And 
and you can see how nasty this stuff is when I complete the preheat even when it transfers over to my cover sheet here. Just for a few seconds. Position the design and cover it. I'm gonna make sure I use two cover sheets so I don't get ink on my heater as it starts to release here. Eight seconds. You can see how the ink starts to come up on the cover sheet. And that would actually transfer over to the next garment as well, which is a pain. And then remove this. Now it may look white now, but we'll do a time lapse here and, and shoot it later in the day and you'll see it starting to migrate. Um, also, some will suggest if you would lower the heat uh, before you would activate the dyes, it would do fine. But what happens is if you lower the heat to get it to stick now, eventually it's gonna migrate and unfortunately it's gonna be what's, when it's in the clothes dryer or a hot car or outside on a hot day, but it will migrate. You're only putting a Band-Aid on it, on this problem by lowering the temperature. This has been a production tip jar from Stahl's CAD Cut Direct.